Hey Amanda, how you doing? Just watched your latest video and uh, it actually uh, actually made me feel good actually the uh, though I understand what you're feeling as far as um, uh, things are upsetting uh, sometimes and uh, you know it's hard to know what you're doing it's hard to know if that's the right way to go about things um, there are certain fears that uh, I just come come with life and um, certain kind of things that happen that make you wonder like what's that all about you know what's going on with that thought or that feeling and uh, it actually it made me feel good actually the uh, the idea I mean the idea that you feel those things is that uh, you have your uh, your shoes off and your socks off and you are on the path of life you're on your path and uh, I guarantee you that your path is is rocky and those rocks uh, tend to be sharp um, and you might think well if that's a good thing then why do my feet hurt on these sharp rocks and uh, why I'm looking over this guy and He's just kind of walking along with a happy, happy smile on his face, and everything's okay for him. I, I think that's the best way that that person can experience life. Um, maybe it's the only way they can. Uh, I think you have more options. And I think you have more options because you can feel it. You're sensitive to the path. Um, I don't know. I think it comes down to uh, you know how we feel as uh, comes down to what we can accomplish. And I feel I feel that you know the less that we feel, uh, the less we can accomplish. And I feel that while sometimes it feels like we're suffering when we're exposed to life uh, and really touching it um, it really informs us uh, in a better way so we can make decisions so I don't know sometimes it might it might seem like you might look at your um, because you could look at what you're doing or what you want or your goals uh, and you might say, uh, I don't know, what's that all about? What's the importance of that? And uh, is that valuable? Um, I just, I just thank God, Amanda, that you could, uh, that you could feel that, that you could think it, um, and then you could apply it to what you're doing. Because so many people, so many people, can't do that. They have no idea. Um, and sometimes I, I envy them. I envy them. Their uh, their blissful ignorance um, it must be nice it must be nice not to feel the rocks underneath your feet you just you could just kind of run any direction you want and uh, the rocks don't cut your feet but I don't know, but if you can't if you can't feel that connection to the trail how do you know you're on it you might just be running in circles blissfully unaware so I, I feel I feel grateful that you could feel those rocks and uh, because you can you could you could pick your steps and uh, and eventually through a large amount of um, painful exploration uh, find your way to your destination so few people can I mean, part of me does really, really admire uh, the people that don't experience life the way you do, the way I do. Um, God, I just, I mean, I really do. I'd like to have, sometimes I'd just like to take a week and feel life that way. Um, um, for instance, I had a guy that came in and uh, you know, basically he wanted to buy a plant. He wanted to buy a flower. And uh, 
it was just a nightmare of one difficult interaction after another. Um, he didn't know how to buy a, buy a plant. And he tried and tried and tried, and his girlfriend started helping. And uh, I did all I could to help him. And uh, another staff member came to help him. And uh, he just seemed so happy the entire time. And part of me thought, that's cool. I mean, this is one of these guys that could, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how things are, are going in his life, difficult or bad. He just has the same good spirit. He did. He had a good spirit. But I think part of what made him so good, what made his spirit so uh, so pleasant, was almost his lack of awareness. He didn't realize how he was turning something very, very simple into a really complex, long-term interaction. Uh, or that the fact that uh, his actions negatively impacted a lot of people slightly. But that's the thing. It's like, I mean, it, it would almost be better if he was aware of it and was actually impacting a few people in a major way. Because uh, then his feet would be on the path. He could actually feel the ground beneath his feet and uh, then know what's going on for him. Know that it's like, wait a minute, this hurts. This is wrong. This feels, this feels bad. Uh, this is difficult. Um, I need to look for a. Uh, I either need to look for another way up up the hill, or I need to step slower and more carefully. You know, awareness. God, and sometimes it can feel terrible. Sometimes it can feel terrible to be aware. Um, but it's what choice you have. Uh, what are your options to be less aware? I think not. We gotta know what's going on for us, even if it's something a feeling that we don't know what's going on. Uh, we gotta know that uh, what we do has value, even if it's a, a terrible feeling that we can't define the value. Um, if you can't struggle with the grasp, uh, then your hands should be in your pockets, and uh, I don't know. Once your hands are in your pockets, uh, the game's over, right? You can't play the game if you can't move the pieces. So it's not that, uh, Amanda. I don't. I take. I take what you're saying seriously. Uh, I don't mean to make light of it or uh, try to give it a fortune cookie uh, like spin. That uh, there is great chaos under heaven, and the situation is excellent. Um, but it's true. Uh, if it, uh, if you weren't aware of the chaos, then there's no way you could take advantage of it. Um, and the fact that you are aware of it uh, uh, means that it's taking you someplace. Um, your feet are on the path. And so few people are. And yeah, it hurts. And it's confusing and upsetting and mystifying. And uh, what better life could it be? I don't know. Like, you know, sometimes I, I, could, I could see the appeal of uh, nothing but easy chairs and, uh, and hot tubs. But, uh, I don't know. For me, it's going to be the rocky ground and a, uh, a wet uh, a wet stump to sit down on and think about the path. I want to take away from uh, what it must feel like to be upset. I don't want to say that they go. Oh, that's a good thing to be upset, uh, though I do think it is. Uh, I mean, I want you to know that I I hear you, and uh, I feel that I understand uh, some of what it must feel like. 
but from my perspective, what it feels like is a good thing. I mean, sometimes we have these feelings that, uh, that throw us for one way or another, but you start thinking about what those feelings are, and those feelings might be about change, and they might be about growth. I mean, man, it must hurt for a seed to break its shell or for a, a bird to, uh, to break out of the egg. Might even hurt, uh, might even hurt to, uh, you know, f to break out of a chrysalis, to, to become a butterfly. It's got to feel a little panicky, right? You're like wrapped up tight. You're not a, uh, you're not a pupa anymore. You're like a, a creature of uh, multiple legs and wings, and you're like wrapped tight. It's got, there's got to be a giant amount of panic involved in that. Makes me a little panicky just thinking about it. And even being a butterfly isn't a happy, happy, joy, joy life. Uh, where then uh, not only are you just uh, at the whims of all the, the, the ground and the predators, but now it's aerial predators and wind and temperature. I mean, it's never, uh, it's never Disneyland. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it is real life, and you are experiencing it. And how much better is that than the people who are uh, stay in their cocoons? Yeah, how much better? Even as bad as it feels. <laughs>